Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in San Francisco, where I'm now delighted to be joined by Sudhir Hasby, Chief Product Officer at Neo4j. Such a pleasure to be with you, Sudhir. Good to meet you, Ryan, and excited to be here. Looking forward to diving in. Neo4j is an industry leader in graph technology. Sudhir, as AI, including LLMs, strives for deeper contextual understanding, how is graph technology becoming increasingly critical for uncovering complex relationships and patterns that are essential for advanced AI? Absolutely right, Ryan. The main point is, as the enterprise AI, AI matures with generative AI, agentic and all that, the most important thing is how does it get the enterprise context? Right. All the information that the LLMs were trained on is just generic web information, right? Mm. And you can go ahead and train them further with enterprise data. But how do you get access to all the rich enterprise data that's in your data and AI cloud in Snowflake or other places? And I think graph technology provides the best structure to put all that data into a semantic layer that makes allows the uh, these generative AI applications to make sense of your information. Uh, let me give you an example. I would love that. Let's Thank say you. you have customer 360 information. Right. And you have like some customers I've talked to, they have 100 to 1,000 tables that bring all the information in the environment together. It will be what's the customer profile, what's the customer clickstream data, like all that information is there. How does a generative AI solution, an agent that you're building on top of it, understand all that information? It's super hard, right? It has to do a complex join across so many different right. tables. What graphs allow you to do is build like a human brain, connect all of this information, the customer, the product they bought, the thing they returned, the things, those relationships become the front and center. And now you can build your agentic applications more easily on top of it. It gives you scale, but more importantly, gives you speed. So you can have sub 100 millisecond response times to go ahead and answer any questions that you have. I absolutely love it, and I and I love the passion that that you bring, Sidir. And I want to dive into the numbers, and I, I have to say, they're pretty remarkable. With three hundred thousand developers building over eighty Fortune one hundred customers and over one hundred and seventy partners in your ecosystem, what data trends are emerging from your collective network, and how are you innovating across your product offering to put the power of insights in the hands of your customers? That's a great question, Ryan. And as, as I work with many customers, I was actually in uh, Asia Pacific and just a couple of weeks back meeting all our customers there. And the few trends are pretty clear, right? One is breaking data silos. And like, I, I know oh, we've been talking about breaking data silos for many, many years now, maybe a couple of decades. But fundamentally what we talked about is how do you centralize all your enterprise information into your data and AI cloud historically? But this is always about different application data coming together. But what's possible now is the structured, semi-structured and unstructured data coming together. Imagine all the intelligence that is stored on your product documentation, the manuals that you have. Now all of that can be combined into a central location that you can actually go ahead and make sense out of and, and build really uh, intelligent applications. And this is where we are working on how do you work with the technology that's available to convert unstructured and structured and semi-structured data into knowledge graphs. So they become the backbone of a lot of these agentic applications. The second area that I think is very interesting is like going from data to insights to knowledge. So if you think about it, a lot of organizations spent a lot of years in going from data to insights, BI, business intelligence and all. But where are we going with agentic and all? It's about how do you make smart decisions? Right. And what that requires is knowledge. And this is where knowledge graphs come in. Like take all that information, convert it into knowledge, and then let agentic applications be built on that knowledge that you've collected instead of just data, raw information, or even BI tables and stuff like that, right? So that's, I think, the big two trends I see is that's where the world is going and more and more organizations are talking and thinking about it. It's great to hear that overall journey. Um, Bringing it back here to uh, Snowflake Summit and the ecosystem is quite literally all around us. Um, how does the AI data cloud platform serve to power your insights at scale? And how does its ease of use platform really make your team the ability to do more faster? Absolutely. I think this is the, the biggest uh, uh, transformation that I have seen in enterprises, including our own, right? I think if you look at it, most data in environments is siloed. I talked about right. data trends being siloed. 
And even in today's discussion, in the keynote, we're talking about unified data platform. And unified data platform means all my data in one single location rather than being distributed into structured, unstructured, semi-structured. So I think one of the biggest things we see value in is having one place where all our information is together, which is structured, unstructured, semi-structured, and unstructured, like combined together in one data model and access to everything together. Uh, I was talking to one of the customers uh, a little while ago and their thing was, uh, they're in manufacturing and then manufacturing manuals were actually on some kind of an object store. They're, all their structured data is in the, uh, in the data cloud. Now they have to bring it all together. What happens when an engine breaks down on this particular right. product? That actual information is in the PDF document somewhere sitting, but the structure is here. So I think combining all that is actually providing the real big value uh, to us as well as all the customers. And then another more important thing I think is all of that in a secured and governed environment right. inside one place, right? I think historically we would take the data, move it out, build a knowledge graph, then do, but that actually has like security concerns and governance concerns and all the thing innovation we are launching at, at the summit, we'll talk more about it, came from that discussion. I was talking to so many enterprise customers who are concerned about data governance, control, security, and, and I think coming all of that together in one single environment is a huge value proposition for the customers. Great to hear how the Snowflake uh, platform is pulling it all together for you. Now I want to bring it back to, to Snowflake with your recent releases. Um, congratulations to the entire team. Neo4j launched a native application on Snowflake. Uh, can you tell us more about it and why you chose to bring components of Neo4j into that overall Snowflake platform? That's a great question. I think when I joined Neo4j two years back, a couple of years back, I saw that we had a lot of value that our customers could get from our platform, but we have an operational database, like an OLTP database, and we had these graph algorithms, their analytical component of our database. They were all tied together in one single thing. And so every customer that wanted to leverage these graph algorithms and analytics had to take data out of Snowflake, move it into Neo4j database, and then run the algorithms, mm -hmm. right? It's great, but the, I talked to a lot of our enterprise customers. They were like, yeah, yeah, but we don't know if we are comfortable moving. Right. What happens with governance and security? We said, okay, this makes no sense. We have value. If you want to use it as an operational database, you can use it. But analytics should be closer to where the data is. Right. So we want to move analytics closer to where Snowflake tables are and information. And great opportunity from Snowflake team building this native marketplace opportunity and native apps and so what we did was we decoupled our product, took 65 plus algorithms. These algorithms are like, you can do anomaly detection for fraud. You can do shortest or longest path in supply chain. You can do uh, like health sciences, drug discovery. You can do uh, like how these drugs are interconnected. Like there are 65 plus algorithms. We took them, decoupled it. We now run it inside Snowflake in native application. You can just go one click, get it complete pricing transparency, you know exactly what you're going to pay upfront. We have pay as, a go, pay as you go model and it's serverless. So you only pay when you're spinning up the algorithm, you run it and you shut it down, you do not pay anything more. So I think this is where I think just taking graph technology and algorithms, making it available to the data cloud and AI cloud for all different use cases is actually the biggest innovation that we have done in Neo4j in, I think, a decade or so now. It's an exciting next chapter. Great to hear how the Easy Views platform is allowing you and your broader ecosystem the ability to do more. Now I want to look towards what's next. As you look at the year ahead, what trends do you see having the most impact on businesses' journey to AI readiness and what's next for Neo4j? I think uh, there won't be any discussion complete without talking about agents and agentic. It is great to see right. the announcements around agents in the Cortex platform in, in the morning. Uh, that's been a trend. Like in last, I would say three to six months, that whole discussion about agentic and agents has just taken off. And I do believe in coming quarters, that will be the top of mind for most organizations. And I think some of the things that we can help organizations with is when you have a data and AI cloud and Cortex for building agents, one of the things that you can do with our graph analytics, the algorithms I talked about is, you can leverage data from Snowflake, build rich context in it. Like you can go ahead and do 
graph of analytics on anomaly detection, or you can do shortest, longest paths, like you can do similarity kind of algorithms on structured data, convert that, move it back into Snowflake tables, and now that becomes a much richer data set for agents on top of Cortex, uh, like, you know, platform. So that's one big thing I see. We are also building a bunch of agentic capabilities, which it will make it, like, we will go from days for building an agent into, like, few hours. That's our goal. Love it. Make it really easy. Because I think I agree with Christian in the morning when he was talking about the core value proposition that Snowflake came up with was simplicity. Mm. Having a one single place, you do end-to-end -end experience in a simple fashion. And we have the same kind of a theme internally. I say I want five seconds to sign up, five minutes to uh, get your data, get wow, and then like within five hours, you should see real enterprise value. And so I think that's the same concept of simplicity. So I think making all of this simple in agents and agentic platforms that people can get value is the primary focus for us. It's wonderful to hear. I'm excited to see what comes next. Such a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you again. Thank you, Ryan. It was great talking to you as well as all the audience here. Thank you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.